just about to leave my room for odd sandals <laughs> Hi guys, so we are still in Orlando. If you missed last week's video, I went fabric shopping. I showed you all the things I bought from local quilt shops, from a few others, so you can head back and watch that video. But in this video, we have got a few very exciting things to do. I am heading home tomorrow, and I've ended up with an extra day with nothing to do. I have rented another vehicle, and I have the day to myself, and I'm very, very excited. So, current plan get breakfast. So I left my quilt last week with an amazing lady called Annie who has long arm quilted it. It's fabric I bought here in the US last year when I was here. I took it home, made it into a quilt top and I bought it back and I need to go and collect it today and I am very, very excited. She sent me a few videos, we picked colours and pattern. I can't wait to see what it looks like in real life. It's going to be amazing. Then I'm going to ask her if she has any recommendations for local quilt shops to go to and we'll go and see if we can find some of those. First thing I need to do is go and have some breakfast and then we'll go and pick up my quilt and see from there. So I'm refueled and ready to go. I had a really good breakfast actually. It was huge, but the guy next to me had like three plates. It was nuts. I had eggs, bacon and biscuits, which are kind of like scones. Um, and it was really, really good. I am now going to go and pick up my quilt and I'm very, very excited. I've just picked it up and it's amazing. It looks so good. She did it for $90, which is so much cheaper than I could get it done in the UK. Look at it. It is stunning. She used the cranberry colour to do the print that we decided on with the stars and everything. And I'm so happy with it. It looks amazing. She does it from her house. She's just a small local lady that I found on Facebook. I'm so, so pleased with it. She's literally made my trip. So if you're in the Orlando area or somewhere here and you want to get your quilt done, this is the lady to take it to. Service was great. Price was amazing and she managed to squeeze me in, get it done in a week. I'm very excited. <laughs> right, okay, now let's go and see what we can find. Okay, so as I was leaving Annie, I asked her if there's anywhere that she would recommend for me to go fabric shopping because she's local, she does quilting, she's got the knowledge. She suggested I went to the quilt place, which is actually the place I went to in last week's video, but she also recommended um, a place called The Sewing Studio. Now it's out in Maitland, which is where I've just driven to now, so it's taken me about 25 minutes so this place comes recommended by a local we will see what i find when i get in here it looks massive it's an independent one which is amazing um, but it looks huge so um let's go and see what we can find and try not to spend too much money <laughs> to be fair actually my suitcase is pretty full so um i really can't buy very much but um famous last words we'll see what happens when i get out <laughs> let's go inside this place had all sorts of different fabrics. There were loads of dressmaking fabrics, there was sparkles, there was satin, there was linings as well as lots of crafting fabrics as well. Loads of different prints that I haven't actually seen anywhere else, which was a really nice surprise. They had all sorts of big prints as well as small ones, all the colours, pretty much anything you were looking for, they had. I didn't really know where to start, but I just took it row by row. I really loved these sort of African inspired prints. The colours on them were absolutely insane. They also had loads of licensed fabric. So they had Harry Potter, they had Pikachu, all the Marvel ones, DC, as well as obviously some Disney as well. We were in Florida after all. They had all sorts of different trims and I loved these rainbow pom-poms, kind of regret not buying some. They have every zip you could possibly imagine and of course I found the button wall. <laughs> there were so many fabrics I loved so I thought I'd show you a quick selection of my favourites. There was this one which was Christmas animals which was really cute as well as this birthday cats. I should definitely have bought some of this. This wintry Christmas animal one was beautiful too. These peppers, I don't know why I found them as exciting as I did, but this one I definitely regret not buying some. I love the mandala print. These ones are tiny little panda prints and I thought it was just so cool, like nothing I've seen before. And then I found the bargain bin. Spent a lot of time looking through all of these prints and found a few that I couldn't leave without. There was everything in here and it was absolutely amazing. This one with the spirals I really liked. I've got no idea what I would ever use it for, but it was in the sale. And this one as well I thought was beautiful. They also had rolls of cork fabric, which a lot of people use at the moment because it's vegan and it's something I've always wanted to sew with. But it was just a little bit too big to get in my case, but definitely something I'll investigate this year. It had just been Halloween while I was there, so this cat print was really, really great. And then I took them all to the till, got the lovely lady to cut them and headed out back to the car. Okay, so that was good. 
not as good as the place where I went last week, I don't think. I actually really, really enjoyed it. I got a few bits, which again, I'll show you in the haul. And yeah, it was good. Um, I'm now gonna go to Hobby Lobby. So I went there very briefly on the Saturday of Black Friday weekend and it was chaos. It was horrible actually, to be fair. I just kind of got in, got out. So today I have more time and I'm hoping it's gonna be quieter because it's a random Monday. I will see what we can find. So, change of plan, I was just driving to Hobby Lobby and I passed the Michaels. I wanted to go here last week when I had the car, but I ran out of time, so um, we'll go in here now. It's kind of like Hobbycraft, I'd say. Let's have a look. So Michaels sells a little bit of everything and they had a really good yarn section. It was very messy because it was Black Friday week and everybody had been in there grabbing everything they could. There was every texture, every colour, every variation you can possibly think of. And I really loved these massive ones. They were huge. <laughs> it's massive. Don't think I'll be getting one of those in my suitcase. They also have a lot more pre-cuts in America. So they have things like jelly rolls and layer cakes, as well as all of the ribbon that you could possibly imagine, not just in the Christmas range, as well as this. So this is so you can make your own shawl. It was very cool. Then in the Christmas decorations, they had these. So this isn't something I would ever buy, but these were all such easy projects. These ones were just tied around a piece of string. This one was just threaded through some felt with a needle. These pom-pom ones, obviously adorable too. Okay, so that was fun. Michael's is kind of like hobby craft back home. It doesn't really do any fabric and it only has limited yarn. And this one particularly had limited yarn because they were all on buy one, get one half price. So the whole yarn section should practically been ransacked. Um, they had loads of Christmas stuff, floristry stuff, but um, obviously not what we're looking for. But I'm glad I stopped. Um, I got a few Christmas presents for people as well. So I am now gonna carry on the way I should be going, try not to get distracted again and head to Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby has everything from craft kits to home decor and everything in between. They had a lot of Christmas stuff in as well as these really, really cool macrame kits. The yarn section was again brilliant and not quite as messy. They had lots of variegated yarns, they had solid colours, they had sparkles and it was all sorted into rainbow order. So obviously that made me very happy. They had lots of different textures, which is really, really exciting, and lots of these cakes as well. They had lots of embroidery threads, which were looking a little bit empty, and I also got a pack of needles because I forgot to pack mine from home, and I needed to use them while I was there. One thing I love about Hobby Lobby is they always have loads of really good quilting and sewing-related gifts. I really wanted to buy the sign that said, sewing is my therapy, but again, luggage space ruined it for me lots of bags they had different trinkets and they also had quite a few kits to help you get started as well i really liked all of these embroidery kits and i definitely wanted to buy a few but i've got so many in the cupboard i would have been silly to do that unfortunately again they had tons of ribbon this was all before i got to the fabric section now the fabric section was really 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 good it was second probably only to joanne's when it comes to chains not as good as the independence obviously but there was so much fabric they had license they had these really really cute prints they had animal crossing fabric i was a bit surprised at this small amount of christmas fabric they had bearing in mind i was there at the end of november but they had all sorts of fleeces as well as cottons and all of the colors of the rainbow i definitely wasn't disappointed and i'm very glad i went back after the initial black friday rush so that I could have a proper look around and take it all in. They had dressmaking fabric as well as you can see from these sparkles and I did find a little bit of Christmas in the end. I would definitely say 10 out of 10 for Hobby Lobby. Okay so I said this last year when I went to Hobby Lobby, if I lived here they would have all my money. <laughs> they do realise house decor stuff as well as like the fabric and things that you saw. They, they basically have everything so if you wanted like a black decor you had can have that you can have boho you can have traditional you can have kitchen all the things and i just love it in there and i managed to not spend very much money because the black friday deals are still going on which doesn't make any sense why anybody would then come on black friday because it's like way after that now it was good i got a few bits i am all shopped out for today it's getting dark as you can see so i'm gonna head back to the hotel so i hope you've enjoyed this video of me here in orlando i will be traveling at the end of january so 
hopefully there'll be some more videos for you then and we're also going to be working on olive soon as well so back into the camper van this year i am also planning to be doing lots more actual making videos once i'm settled and doing a lot less travel but for the last half of this year it's been crazy so stay tuned follow me on all the social medias subscribe all the things and i'll see you next week for another video and i'll be back in the uk have a good day guys. I am going to do a fabric haul of all of the things I bought while I was over in Florida. So cute. I had to get this. <laughs> I liked it a lot more when I was in America. <laughs> Altogether, I spent... <laughs>